Hey everyone, Dan here. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. And keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence, put in the work for yourself, and make your decisions based on that. Enjoy! All right, folks, here we are on Tuesday, March 19th. We're going to take a look at PDD today. So with earnings coming up, I thought we'd come and take a look and see where PDD might hit support or resistance, whether it booms or busts based off of earnings. And of course, some levels that it might sort of pin itself to if it does move relatively sideways. So I've covered, tried to cover a lot of ground here. Uh, as you see, price right now at about 127 I charted all the way down to $72 and all the way up to $164 <laughs> and a few levels in between. Now, I tried to both encapsulate a large range, but while not not cluttering the chart too much. So the delicate balance there is I've left out probably some more granular levels on the chart uh, in, in exchange for clarity and just putting in what I feel are the strongest levels on the chart. For example, there's probably a level right here around 89, 84. Um, but I didn't put it in because that's based off of sort of more recent, thinner price action, whereas the levels that I have on the chart feel a little bit more time-tested and robust to me. So all that said, if it does get a push up 134.35, 151.13 and 164.39 look like the strong resistance levels to me. If it does pull back, it may find some support at 116.58, 98.43, 82.54, 96.50, 52, or 72. Now, again, a bunch of these levels have huge percentage gains and losses in between them. So just realize there's plenty of space for price action to get put in, and we can wait that in the future if that does sort of take place. And, you know, also, if it does have a large outsized reaction to earnings, you see this is a gap from earnings, this is a gap from earnings. So it hasn't been unaccustomed to gapping on earnings. So it may just skip a level or two, you know, depending on, on which way it wants to go. Now, on the think or swim side of things, we see a bunch of triggers and fires. This is maybe more triggers and fires than we see in the normal stock over a period of time. Trigger and fire here sort of didn't am amount to much of anything. And then we got the re-trigger and the refire. We see this commonly, trigger and fire, nothing happens. Re-trigger, refire, that's where the big move comes. And that's where you saw that huge gap up out of the channel. And then eventually it pulled back in to the mid-range. And as soon as it got to the mid-range, it started triggering again. And pretty lengthy trigger here, mostly spending most of that time at, at or around the mid-range of the channel. And then when it fired, boom, down, out of the lower bound of the channel, worked its way back into the mid-range, started to trigger again, kind of batted around lower mid-range, and then fired and popped it out of the lower bound again. So at the moment, not triggering on the TTM squeeze indicator, we do see this push on the bearish momentum less deep than the previous push, um, and, and almost back to the baseline at this point. So, you know, my question is, in, I guess, the immediate micro sense, does this complete? We see here it completed and baselined, but then it just picked back up to the bears again. Um, so can this baseline again? And if so, can it then flip to anything on the bullish side of things? We'll see. Or does it sort of revisit this situation here where it just picked right back up again? In the slightly more macro sense, I do wonder if the bearish momentum showing less oomph on this swing is maybe indicative that the bears are getting a little bit exhausted and you know maybe there's an opportunity here but um it's a lot of it is going to largely depend on what the actual nuts and bolts of the report are <laughs> so we can look at these sort of like patterns and potential sort of confluence of chart events all that we want. But depending on what the actual report says, that's going to blend with the sentiment around the stock of the market and will, you know, or at least has the chance for an explosive reaction one way or the other. But it's going to mostly depend on those things at this point. So I would just say if it does move sort of relatively sideways or the market sort of digests this as more or less on par and it just kind of plods it along slightly up, slightly down, um, maybe in the near future we get a new 
trigger and fire since it is already mid-range and so if it does continue to move sideways it should likely stay near mid-range and it has proven before that these triggers and fires can um, play out in some pretty uh, clear-cut moves uh, through both bounds of the channel so that could be quite interesting all right folks i hope that your trading week is off to a good start and as always i appreciate you watching and i will see you in the next video